Prince Harry's military career has been a subject of intense scrutiny and debate, with one particular nickname, Bunker Harry, casting a shadow over his service. This moniker, allegedly bestowed upon him by fellow soldiers, raises questions about the true nature of his experiences on the front lines and the level of protection he received. According to reports, the nickname Bunker Harry emerged from allegations that the prince was afforded special treatment and kept in a highly secure location during his deployments to Afghanistan. Critics claim that he was never truly exposed to the same dangers and hardships faced by his comrades, instead being sheltered in fortified bunkers and safe zones. Supporters of Prince Harry, however, vehemently deny these claims, asserting that he served with honor and distinction putting his life on the line alongside his fellow soldiers. They argue that the Bunker Harry nickname is a malicious attempt to discredit his service and undermine the sacrifices he made for his country. At the heart of this controversy lies a fundamental question. Was Prince Harry's military experience a genuine one? Or was it carefully orchestrated to protect the royal heir while creating the illusion of frontline service? Those who believe in the Bunker Harry narrative point to several incidents that allegedly highlight the special treatment he received. One such incident occurred during his first deployment to Afghanistan in 2007, when his presence in the country was leaked to the media prompting his immediate evacuation for safety reasons. Critics argue that this swift extraction was a clear indication of the extraordinary measures taken to safeguard the prince, measures that would not have been extended to ordinary soldiers. Furthermore, there are allegations that Prince Harry was never truly exposed to direct combat situations, instead being confined to secure bases and heavily guarded areas. Some even claim that he spent a significant portion of his time playing video games and engaging in recreational activities, rather than actively participating in combat operations. However, Prince Harry's supporters vehemently refute these claims, pointing to his own accounts of his experiences and the testimonies of those who served alongside him. They argue that the prince underwent the same rigorous training as his fellow soldiers and was subjected to the same dangers and hardships on the battlefield. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence in Prince Harry's defense is his own admission of having killed 25 people during his second tour of duty in Afghanistan. In his memoir, Spare, the prince candidly discusses the weight of taking human lives, a burden that few outside of combat can truly comprehend. This admission, his supporters argue, is a testament to the authenticity of his experiences and the gravity of the situations he faced. Ultimately, the truth behind the Bunker Harry nickname may never be fully known, as the father of war and the secrecy surrounding royal military operations make it difficult to separate fact from fiction. What is clear, however, is that Prince Harry's service has become a lightning rod for debate, with his detractors and supporters alike using it as a battleground to shape narratives and advance their respective agendas. For some, the Bunker Harry moniker represents a betrayal of the sacrifices made by ordinary soldiers, a privileged existence masquerading as genuine service. For others, it is a baseless slur, an attempt to diminish the prince's accomplishments and tarnish his reputation. Regardless of where one stands on the issue, the controversy surrounding Prince Harry's military career serves as a reminder of the complex interplay between privilege, duty, and sacrifice that exists within the ranks of the armed forces. It raises questions about the role of royalty in modern warfare and the delicate balance between protecting national interests and upholding the principles of equality and meritocracy. As the debate rages on, one thing remains certain. Prince Harry's legacy as a soldier will forever be intertwined with the Bunker Harry nickname, a moniker that has become a symbol of both admiration and derision, depending on one's perspective. Whether it is a fair representation of his service or a cruel distortion of the truth, it has left an indelible mark on the Prince's military career and will continue to shape the discourse surrounding his experiences for years to come.